Okay, now we're going to take this one step further, this working with two quantitative variables, and look at linear regression. Now, we have an example here. Baseball games can last a long time. How is the length of the game measured in minutes influenced by how many total runs are scored in a game? So we have a scatter plot with the regression line is shown. So the dots represent the number of runs scored and the length of time in the game. The regression line is given by the predicted time equals 158 plus 2.53 times the runs. And the data are available in baseball times. So we want to use the regression line to predict the length of a game in which five runs are scored. So we would predict the time. Now we use the hat over the time because it is a prediction. It's not an actual value. So it would be 158 plus 2.53 times 5 for the number of runs. This is 170.65. So the game is predicted to last 170.65 minutes if five runs are scored. So now we have, in one game, five runs were scored, and the total time was 189 minutes. We want to find the residual for this point. So the residual is the observed, or the actual, minus the predicted. So in this case, it's 180 minus 170.65, uh, 189 minus 170.65, or 18.35. So we predicted, based on the regression line, that the game would last 170. 65 minutes. If five runs were scored, in this particular game it actually lasted 189 minutes. So the residual or the difference between what happened and what we thought would happen is 18.35. Now we want to circle the corresponding point on the scatter plot and show the residual on the graph. Well, five minutes is about here. This would be about the 189. So this vertical distance is our residual, or is our difference. So a residual is the vertical distance from the actual point on the scatter plot to the regression line. Now we want to interpret. We want to interpret the slope. But the slope is the coefficient of the x term, which would be the number of runs. So the slope is 2.53. And this is if one more. Run is scored in the game. The time the game lasts is 
is predicted to go up by 2.53 minutes. Now we're asked to interpret the intercept, the y-intercept, that's the constant. So the intercept is 158, and this means that if There are no runs scored. In a baseball game, the game is predicted to last 158 minutes. However, we know, or those who follow baseball, know that a game would have extra innings until at least one team scored. So this is kind of an unreasonable y-intercept, or you might say that the nine innings would last 158 minutes, since we know there would be extra innings in order to ha declare a winner.